to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about Splat, a character in Disney Animation's next film, Strange World. Splat is a blue blobby creature from the Strange World who befriends Ethan and guides him and the rest of the clades through the mysterious underground land. He is their ally in this unfamiliar world. The creatives decided that because the Strange World is so alien and sometimes dangerous, it was essential that the clades find an individual to help them navigate it, and Splat is that individual. Splat has no face, which made it difficult for animators to convey his emotion. However, this has been done before, an example being the magic carpet from Aladdin. He communicates in pantomime, which I think is going to be really cute. However, he can't morph into other creatures or things that would make it easier for him to communicate. Splat has seven tentacle-like limbs called nubs. This made Splat very time-consuming to pose because they had to pose him 24 times a second every time he was on screen. Next I want to talk about how Splat moves. In order to figure out how Splat was going to be able to walk, they first went to a 2D animator. They then used that inspiration to make Splat CG. He was hard to move around because he doesn't have a proper front, back, top or bottom. The team even wanted to avoid people thinking that his face is the tentacle at the top of Splat's body. The creatives wanted to avoid anything that made Splat feel human or too bipedal, which meant they had to be careful about how Splat walked or ran or stood. The team said that Splat needed to be able to roll around and be upside down and act on two legs, or three legs, or four legs, or five legs, or on its head. Splat has no real structure, so we really had to do all of that while still hitting a bunch of different poses. Splat's movement looked really cool in the trailer, and I can't wait to see more. Obviously, most Disney characters have a voice actor, but that is not the case for Splat. Instead, Splat is voiced by sounds created by the sound design team. The sound designer Shannon Mills was in charge of this process, and they used machines and crazy devices to create...